BBC Sussex, BBC Surrey, BBC Radio Solent. But if you're looking for something to do, there's a brilliant Purbeck Art Week event going on, and it's going to start next weekend, going on right to the end of May. And I'm delighted to say uh, that Carlotta and Chris join me here, Carlotta and Chris Barrow, who are a double act. Um, <laughs> I presume you're married, Carlotta. Yes, we are. Yes. <laughs> Not brother and sister. No, no. Uh, okay. No, no, no. Uh, but uh, tell us a bit about this, because you're in a gorgeous part of the world, the Isle of Purbeck, unique place in Dorset, sheltered uh, by the Purbeck Hills and bound by the seas, inspired artists over the centuries, of course. Uh, what would people see if they came down? Well, we live in the very last house on Peveril Point, and um, the sea is all around us. And Purbeck Art Week encompasses all the artists in Purbeck. There are over 80 this year. But we have our own studio open, Waterside Studio. And this year, we're very lucky. We've got an additional building. We've been allowed to have, for the Purbeck Art Week, the former Cliff Rescue Building. Oh, lovely. They've moved to much grander premises, and we've got this shell, mm -hmm. which we're very excited about, and we're going to show paintings and sculptures there as well. Very nice. And mm. you actually feature in the uh, Wessex Music magazine, and there's a lovely photo of the view that you get from your house, and one of the sculptures that you've done, and a, and a feature on both of you there. Yes. Um, you are so lucky to live there. How did you manage to get there? Well, my mother bought the house in 1947, so I was brought up there, and I just loved the place. Um, both Chris and I worked and lived in London. Yeah. I was in Covent Garden, but of course I had to come back because it's such a beautiful place. Oh, of we course. Kept it on. You yes. lucky devil. So the two of you there now. Uh, what are the specific pieces of art that you actually do? Well, we both do carving, and I use mainly uh, Purbeck stone. There's cliff stone, and I've even worked in Purbeck marble, which is quite hard. And Chris works in stone as well. Mm -hmm. and, and, and looking at some of the stuff that people can see, it's not just stone and sculpture, is it? Um, no, no, we paint too. We, and, oh yes, we've got, with the Purbeck artists, the furniture makers, jewellery makers, carvers, painters, illustrators, photographers. I mean, it is fantastic. And everybody has their unique venue open. You can go tour around the Isle of Purbeck. OK, well, we'll talk a bit more about this uh, soon because uh, lots of people will want to know how they can get involved to that. And you've got a website as well. Uh, but I, I noticed that in the email that you sent me that you noticed that I had interviewed the Beach Boys many years ago. And uh, it, it's fantastic. They used to be a dancer with a pop group yourself, didn't you? That's right. They were called the Beat Girls. We oh, were yes. the forerunners to Pan's people. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. Have you got any video footage of that? Maybe we could put it on YouTube. Well, the there is some because when they had a birthday salute for David Attenborough, oh, yes. they started because he was controller of BBC Two when we were on BBC Two oh, and right. they showed a little bit of us dancing. Oh, okay, fantastic. But our choreographer came over the West Side Story and yes. he, Gary Cockrell, he was the first to get dancers on Lovely. BBC. On and it's all, it's all gone to pot since we lost Top of the Pops, hasn't it? Oh, yes, I don't know. <laughs> First of all, though, let's get back to uh, Carlotta and Chris Barrow, who are telling us all about the Purbeck Art Week, which starts this weekend. Delighted to say that Chris now joins us, and we were talking about YouTube a moment ago. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see Carlotta dancing with the Beat Girls on that one, but you do, Chris, uh, have a YouTube link on your website, don't you? Yes, we do. Um, if we give you our website um, address, then you can click on to YouTube and there's a seven minute film of both of us carving uh, in mainly limestone down at Peveril Point in Swanage. Um, the website's www.artatpeveriledge.com. That's all one word, art at Peveril Edge peveril ledge dot com yes and you spell all that the whole word is spelt there's no symbols in there okay anyway that will give you a link but also um if you're able to come down to swanage uh next saturday which is a week from now and see the purbeck art event there are lots of artists showing in and around swanage and there's a lovely brochure which we can hand out to people and there's a big exhibition at rollington barn near corf castle and that shows um, at least one piece of work from all the artists, which I think is nearly 90. Mm -hmm. um, so you can have a taster, and if there's something you like especially, or a style you like, 
you can then probably go to the artist studio um, and see more of their work. And that's on for the same time, that's 23rd of May until the 31st. 31st, right to the end of the month. And uh, there's a film festival coming up as well, isn't there, Carlotta? Oh, yes, this is right. The Purbeck Film Festival, and you can um, go onto their website, www.purbeckfilmfestival.co.uk. But they're showing Mamma Mia! Drive-In um, Cinema at Holton Lee. Oh, how fantastic. Chris will give you the details, because yep. if you get in early, you can get your tickets for £10. Oh, jolly good. Well, uh, get a pen and paper ready. Eddie, Chris is going to give us the details all about the film festival, aren't you, Chris? Yes, indeed. Um, every October there's a very good event in Purbeck, which is called Purbeck Film Festival, and it's got bigger every year. And this year there'll be a very good um, wide range of films being shown. But as a taster, um, this week, tying in with the art event, well, next, next Sunday onwards, there are four films being shown during the week. But the one that people might be interested in most is um, Mamma Mia, and that'll be in the open air. So you come by car. Um, it's a £12 per car, or £10 if you book in advance, and that you can get as many people in as you wish <laughs> for the same price. Um, it's at Holton Lee, um, which is not far from Wareham, um, or also you can get there from the Baker's Arms Roundabout in Pool. Um, via the A371, I think it is. Uh, sorry, I'm just checking. Um, it's... Sounds ever so good, Mamma Mia. A35, sorry, that. A351. So it's, so it's the A35, that, that's good stuff. And that should be a good one, because that's an open-air venue, and it's enormous uh, venue, so there'll be no problem if you come at the last minute. You'll get in. It's such a vast field area. Lovely, and you mentioned the brochures with regard to Purbeck Art Week, and uh, you mentioned that you'll be giving them out on the weekend, but before all of that, Carlotta, where, where can people get them? Oh, local libraries, TICs, practically any outlet round, round and about. There's a website, too. Isn't it? And there's a website, www.purbeckartweek.co.uk. Um, OK, so Purbeck Art Week, you're going to be there with your uh, sculptures? Yes, we will be at Peveril Point, Waterside Studio, we're number one on the brochure. But, um, How much did you have to pay to get to number one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well... <laughs> we won the competition. Oh, We'd right. also like to say the other films are to do with art. We've got Frida, about Frida Kahlo, uh -huh. and that's on Monday, and Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, and there's going to be a talk by Penny Denton about the artists in Purbeck, and she has written the book called Swanage Surrealism about Paul Nash, which is a very popular book, and she will be giving a lecture in Corfe Castle. Lovely. Well, I must admit, I'm, I'm having a look at the brochure, and you, there's a big pull-out map, and it just goes to show how gorgeous Dorset is. Yes. And you are so lucky to live there and work there, and I'm very, very jealous. Ah, uh, we have very talented people. The map is actually drawn by Tony Kerrins, one of our local illustrators, okay. and he did the map for us. I thought you were going to say you have lots of talented people there so you can come and live here, but no, that wasn't coming, <laughs> was it? Uh, right, let's just remind everyone of that website, your website, where people people can get more info. Our website is www.artatpeveredge.com, but it is at AT rather All than the word, symbol. Yeah. Yeah. And the other one is www.perbeckartweek.co.uk. Lovely stuff. Uh, Kalata, Chris, thank you so much and, and best of British with it all next week. Thank you very much. Thank you very Keep much. our fingers for the weather crossed. Um, oh, and yes. It does look like it's going to warm up midweek, so uh, good. it looks pretty good. good. Most of the venues are inside anyway. Oh, OK, yes. yes. <laughs> Typical British summer. You've got to be prepared, haven't you, like a good Boy Scout. Three o'clock on the BBC. Loving life in the South. Loving life in the South.